Dustin Johnson was listed in the field for the first event in the Live Golf Invitational. How should the PGA Tour respond to this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to you this way, and I told him this on the ride over here this morning. And I'll look right down the barrel of the camera and say this. The PGA Tour is in a little bit of trouble, in my opinion. Because we can talk about tradition, and we can talk about all the great stuff and all the memories, but regardless if it was 1901, 2001 or 3021, money talks. PJ Tour's got a lot of money. The Masters, the planes lined up on that tarmac are some of the richest people in the world, but they don't have the type money that this Saudi Tour has. This Saudi Tour has invisible money. It doesn't matter. It's, it, they have as much money as anybody has money. And again, you had a lot of guys come out, including Dustin Johnson. When this happened, he even wrote a letter saying how great the PGA Tour is, how much he loves the sponsors. This is the best organization. He wants to play where the best players play. But then all of a sudden, you throw him that check, and Dustin's the highest, biggest name on the list. 13th in the world. You got Louis Eustazen. You got, Ta you got uh, Taylor Gooch. Lee Westwood and Sergio Garcia, the older guys I understand. This is like your way to go cash grab before they put you off to the pasture in the Champions Tour. But if they start grabbing young guys, because the PGA's got one shot at this discipline thing, and we know they've let Dustin Johnson get away with a lot off the field, off the course. I'm not going into that. They protect their own, their stars in the PGA Tour. But this is a betrayal. And the PGA said they are going to have some sort of repercussion. Now, what that repercussion is, I don't know. But if I was the PGA, I would make it strong. There would be a strong repercussion yep. where people have to draw the line and say, I'm either with the PGA Tour or I'm going to go play in this one. But the minute they start grabbing some of the young guys, and I know Justin Thomas said he'd never do it, but Dustin said he'd never do it. I know Spieth and all them have said they wouldn't do it, but money talks. Lane Kiffin the other day for Ole Miss said, what about recruiting in NIL? It doesn't matter who the head coach is. It doesn't matter about the stadium. These kids are going to go where the money goes. You want to know why? Because human beings go where the money goes. And it still rings as true to this day. Money talks and BS walks. I was surprised to see Dustin Johnson on this list, but I don't think the Live Tour will have staying power. I think the PGA Tour will weather this storm, but they need to do what I, this is why this was my get off my lawn about a month ago. They need to get their act together. You can't treat these guys like independent contractors, but then also want them to be, be part employees of your, where they need yeah. to ask permission to go play in other events that are offering a $20 million prize. Get your act together. I don't know what all the solutions are that are needed, but one of them seems to be revenue sharing with TV rights. Yep. That seems to be a big area where there could be some gains for these guys more than just uh, winning tournaments. This is a feeler thing for me now. You're seeing that a lot, I think a lot of guys didn't go because they want to see the response. Yep. The response from the PGA and what is, what is going to be, and I agree with you, Jake, this has to be a harsh, hard response. Like lifetime ban? Maybe. Like maybe, maybe, maybe a ban or something. Year, I mean, or you don't play, play the, the PGA, next major or something. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, a lot of it to me has to do with legacy. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, you go into this, uh, you know there's going to be re repercussions. Dustin Johnson, you're already losing sponsorships. I already saw a couple go down today. You knew this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. At what point does this tarnish a legacy to know? Because at the end of the day, you play golf to be the best golfer ever. Right? In any sport, you want to be the best at it. We're competitive in nature. We're humans. We're built like that. But could this tarnish your legacy of chasing those guys? That you know you'll probably never get to Jack or Tiger, but to be remembered in golf? I don't think if you go play in the Saudi Tour, as many as you win, you're not going to get remembered as being one of the best. Well, again, Dustin's done stuff in the PGA Tour, too. If he hadn't won a, a major championship or something like that, I think it would be a little bit different. You're never catching Tiger or, or, or Jack. None of these people are. I don't think anybody's ever going to get close to it. Tiger's not even going to yeah. catch Jack. But how does it not help cement your legacy by maybe going and being the most dominant, the first kind of, of domino to affect the rest of the dominoes to come and help out the golfer as a player. That's what I want to see. But I do want to get this college football part on five big questions. But this Phil Mickelson thing is really interesting to me. Phil Mickelson really hurt himself. You literally insulted both groups of people when you look at it now. What he said about the PGA Tour and the way it goes down, the way he insulted the higher-ups there and the way it worked, you knew they were going to like that. But in the same breath, you're talking trash about the Saudi Tour. Now, you're not playing on either one of them. Phil Mickelson should have been the headliner on this list. We should be talking about Dustin Johnson as a secondary. Wow, that was a big surprise. But Phil is the headliner on this list. 
Phil has alienated himself by running his mouth to somebody that he shouldn't have ran his mouth to. And that decision looks dumber and dumber by the day. If you like that content, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to be balling every day on Crane and Company. Hit that like button while you're at it and go ahead and smash it like Derrick Henry on an ISO run.